Welcome back to the Hood Astro Queen to all of my returning subscribers. However, if this is your first time joining me on today, welcome. It's here that we use knowledge from celestial bodies to help us gain a better understanding of our favorite celebs, world events, and most importantly, our damn selves. So thumbs up this video, share it with a friend, and click that subscribe button to become a part of the family. We just hit 5K, so we are growing rapidly. Shout out to all of my Astro family members. Me love you a long time. Thank you so much for supporting me. And the sky's the limit. We have so far to go. Also, hit that notification bell so that way you'll know whenever I'm on here making a post. And then finally, if you are interested in booking your very own natal chart reading, Contact me at Astro World. That's Astro W E R L D at gmail.com, and we can get you squared away on today. Now, as you can see, I want to talk about the problem with Saturn in Aries. All right, I got a bone to pick with y'all, and it's all right. Don't take it too personal because I got a bone to pick with everybody because this is going to be a series. All right, series alert. But Saturn in Aries is definitely one of those placements that I tend to find can create a lot more difficulty for a person than other placements. Now, Saturn, when you think about the planet in and of itself, what it represents, right? Delays, challenges, struggle, yada, yada, even karma, if you will. It's something that is going to appear in all of our lives on a certain level to a certain degree. But I noticed that each generation, because Saturn is one of those more generational type of planets, right? It's a heavy body. It moves very slowly. So each generation has their own set of obstacles to face when it comes to dealing with the way that Saturn manifests for a lot of these people. And your Saturn Aries individual typically has a really hard time because Y'all are hard-headed, AF, and just problematic. And now, in the more recent times, I'm speaking to you 1998 babies, okay? But my issue with Saturn, Aries individuals is that you guys ultimately lack self-control and discipline. You guys are very selfish and egocentric. These are people who think they're better than what they are in a lot of cases, in a lot of ways, and it can be really obnoxious very obnoxious. Saturn in Aries produces a person who tends to feel like they can do all things or like they don't need to consult with others, which can make these people incredibly bossy, pushy. But I've also seen this create a situation where these people can overblow and just hyper inflate their own sense of self to the point where it's like they can be very egocentric, very full of themselves, very narcissistic, kind of adjacent, that type of energy there. And it's almost always stemming from a place of inferiority. In fact, these are people who tend to take a little longer in life to fully come into themselves. So from very early on, it's like they always feel like they have something to prove. These are people who are also they just are horrendous when it comes to being a team player. And they are often bound to clash with not only peers, but co-workers. So with you 98 babies, you guys are rapidly approaching that age if you're not already in the workforce. A lot of you guys could be in college, but you may even notice very early on that there could be a lot of dissension, lots of conflict when it comes to you, co-workers, or even and especially people in authority. So like bosses, management, that type of thing. These are people who actually work best independently for that reason. Or you may find that a lot of people don't want to be bothered with you. Okay. There's also a strong need for you guys to learn how to curtail your competitive nature. Or at the very least, know when to be what when to exude this type of energy, when to pull it back in. You guys can be very instinctive and very defensive, especially when feeling threatened. And the weird thing about Saturn in Aries is that 
you guys, your sense of what threatens you can often be distorted. Once again, because a lot of you guys are operating from a strong inadequacy complex. So behavior wise, these could be very just, I mean, they could be assholes. Y'all are assholes. And you lack the ability to step outside of yourself and do the checks and balances thing. Okay, is what I'm doing making sense? Is the way I'm responding to this person making sense? Is it proportionate in regards to whatever the offense was? Am I handling this in a very respectable and mature manner? No, nine times out of ten, probably not. But that's okay, because life is going to whoop your ass, okay? Saturn, Aries, Generation, y'all got it coming. 2026, y'all got it coming. That's that first Saturn return. Boy, that's going to be an interesting sight to see. These are people who could even be the type to get disciplined often. So even as children, obviously, these are the kids who got a lot of spankings or who could have clashed with authority figures as children, specifically even the father. But as an adult, you could also be faced with correction, harsh correction. So you can even look at this as a person getting in trouble with the law. So having to bump your head in that regard before you learn your lesson. So people who could lose their temper, fly off of the handle, something happens. Now look at you, you're in jail. That's an extreme example, but another manifestation of this is also people, once again, getting uh, prosecuted or reprimanded within the workplace. You guys are people who only learn through pain, both figurative pain, but sometimes literally, okay? As you guys can be people who are a danger to not only yourselves, but others around you. And this could cause you to make enemies quite easily. These are people who are prone to engage in fights, disagreements, and even may be very vulnerable to bone-breaking accidents. And that ties back into this impulsivity thing, right? Doing things before you seriously think about the consequences. And when it comes to that Saturn return, especially that first Saturn return, the consequences to a lot of your uh, just impromptu, abrupt actions are going to get more and more painful, more and more difficult to deal with to the point where, like I said, you're going to end up hurting yourself so bad, figuratively, literally putting yourself in a situation that is going to force you to grow the fuck up. You guys can be extremely self-destructive. Uh, Saturn and Aries could also produce the need to always defend yourself from others. And like I said, this sense of defense is just very warped because a lot of times you feel threatened by things that are not even threats. Y'all be competing with yourselves a lot of times, more often than not. And you also will learn as time goes on, not everything requires a reaction from you. And a lot of why Saturn in Aries is such a difficult placement is because Saturn is in the fall when it's in Aries, right? Because if Saturn is exalted in Libra, Libra being the opposing sign in Aries, it hates it here. It does not like being here. So that only like compounds the uh, more challenging manifestations of this placement. And some really good examples of people with Saturn and Aries that can further bring home my point. Takashi 6 9 I mean, you see where he's at in his life, okay? And then more recently, Nene Leaks. She's a really good example of that uh, very narcissistic Saturn Aries individual, right? The person who thinks they can do everything, uh, no matter what other evidence she's presented with the person who's very hard to work with, and even the whole example of being punished in the workplace, okay? Sis, <laughs> Sis got cut out of the series. Like I think they dropped her uh, appearance from the Housewives down to like six episodes, and then she walked away. But point is, ma'am, you were being problematic. Nobody wants to deal with you. Nobody likes you. Now you're angry. Now we see you for the narcissistic piece of shit that you've always been, sis. Like, that's very Saturn Aries. She embodies that to a T. 
And just overall, y'all need an outlet, okay? You need an outlet. A lot of you guys need physical outlets to kind of help you channel a lot of that uh, energy, a lot of that nervous. Now, I wouldn't even say nervous energy. It's just a lot of excess steam that needs to be blown off. And once again, learning how to be more disciplined. So what other way to help you develop discipline than adhere to some type of regimen, exercise regimen, right? Take up martial arts, go running, do something, but whatever you do, be careful, okay? Because you might break a bone. So just, just, just be mindful. <laughs> so this concludes why I got a problem with Saturn in Aries. Y'all feel free to sound off in the comment section below. Are you a Saturn Aries individual? Do you know one? What has been your experience? And of course, make sure you practice unconditional self-love so that you can love others. And until the next video, I holla.